On a recent Techler Clips video, I snagged this screenshot of a comment from Marco, 16 seconds after it was posted. I messaged Jonah the comment, and he told me the comment was not there. And sure enough, it was gone. I thought maybe Marco deleted it, but they left another comment asking why the comment was removed and why it kept disappearing. These comments were never in our held for review section. I never deleted them, Marco doesn't seem to have deleted them, it's like they just never existed. And it's not just Marco, I see this on all three channels I manage, where people ask why their comments are deleted. So let's talk about this and why it's such an annoying issue for not just all of you, I'm sure, but also for ourselves, and most importantly, what we are doing about it. I want to start by making something very clear. I hate interacting and moderating YouTube comments, so much so that I hired someone to help me manage them, and I assure you we are not online 24-7 deleting your comments within 20 seconds of you posting them. And to really send that message home, even on surveillance report, my co-host Nate has his own channel, The New Oil, which dealt with this problem when he tried leaving comments on surveillance report. Yes. Nate, the co-host of Surveillance Report, couldn't leave any comments on Surveillance Report with his own channel, even though he's in the videos. And this is even after I made the new oil an approved user in YouTube Studio, meaning I actively whitelisted his channel and he still couldn't leave comments. We actually never figured out why this was happening. And just to clear the air, this is not just an us problem, this is a global YouTube problem. If you do a search into like any search engine, you'll see a bajillion people complain about this. Now it's important for all of you to understand how comment moderation works for us creators so you kind of get to see the behind the scenes. On every video, YouTube gives creators the following options. Allow all comments, hold potentially inappropriate comments for review, hold all comments for review, disabling comments, or there's a new increased strictness to hold more comments for review. You can also just disable comments that have links, which is a common setting creators use to help prevent spam bots. Now, if YouTube flags a comment and it wants to hold a comment for review, us creators have a panel called Held for Review, which is a section where we can view all of these flagged comments. This is great because now we can see exactly what YouTube flags and we can actively go in here to read these. And we do read every one of them reluctantly. And it's not uncommon for there to be false positives or comments that are actually totally fine. We end up manually approving these. On the other hand, this is great for transparency as it shows us that YouTube moderation features are actually working, blocking spam and comments that are left to be nothing but a toxic dumpster fire on the world, which is why we don't just leave all comments enabled. When we see comments like these in the held for review section, we're reminded why these tools exist in the first place, and it's so we can have a welcoming comment section where people feel comfortable sharing their voice in a way that's productive to the community and without annoying spam. With that context out of the way, what is going on here? Why are there random comments from users that just don't appear anywhere? Not in our health for review section, it's just gone. These, they're like ghosts. I'm calling them ghost comments. We have no record of them. The person leaving the comment has no record of them. They don't even seem to be including links in their comments, so that's not what's happening. So what is happening? I have zero clue. I'm very frustrated that I don't actually know at all what the hell is going on. I don't even know if these are channel-wide bans because a lot of these people like Marco have one comment just never appear, but they can still leave other comments. Some of them were complaining about the comment just being deleted and some were just normal comments. On the other hand, the new oil wasn't able to leave a single comment on any surveillance report videos. I literally just don't know, nor do I have enough data or information to find out because again, YouTube gives me and other creators zero records or evidence of these comments, what was stated in them and why they were removed. My guess is there are actually a lot more comments that are being flagged that we don't know about from people who don't bother to leave a second comment complaining about the first one being deleted. And that's kind of a scary thought because it means this might be a much more widespread issue than we give it credit for. Now, I wanna make three things very crystal clear. First, I already see people try to claim this is some censorship against a specific group or demographic, or this is against our privacy community. I don't know, people. I don't think this is actually specific to anything. I've seen many of these comments on different channels, different types of videos, different types of users, and I really 
honestly think it's more likely that YouTube is just sucking in general, not that YouTube is super good at being against a particular demographic. Second, I want good moderation on YouTube. The amount of spam we've had to deal with on this channel and the amount of toxic comments is insane, and it's even worse on other platforms where the moderation tools aren't as strong or non-existent. Even though I'm complaining, I actually still think YouTube's overall done a decent job of giving creators access to tools that no other video platform has done. My core complaint here, just to set the record straight, is that YouTube's moderation tools are no longer being done in a transparent way where we the creators are in control of what's happening. There's no reason whatsoever why these ghost comments shouldn't appear in our held for review section. It means we can't override this. It means we don't even know what's going on and why your comments were removed or what they even said. So we can't really help you and tell you what to avoid posting to avoid getting caught in YouTube's filters. We just don't know. My final point and what our current solution is in light of these problems. We've been talking a lot in our content about having independent platforms away from big tech companies, especially in light of what's happening with Reddit. I want to once again remind everyone watching that we have our own independent platform that we control where we can offer our ideal community to all of you in the way that we feel is most fit for our audience. And it's our forum, discuss.techlore.tech. All of our videos are auto posted to our forum, which function as their own comment section with much nicer features than YouTube has ever given you ever. And in fact, the videos posted there are PeerTube videos. So it's actually entirely separated from YouTube when you're in that community. So for those who are chasing a de-googled comment section and a de-googled experience with a ton of people who are active, that's where you go. You can follow anything on our forum with RSS without an account, including all the privacy news that's posted. Everything is designed for long form nuanced discussions and the amount of amazing information shared about privacy and security is some of the best I've ever seen. And yes, I am 100% biased. Obviously it's my community, but I genuinely believe the quality of information that I've seen there is super high and I really haven't seen it anywhere else. So this is our solution. While this won't solve YouTube's problems, which are out of our control, it does solve our problems that are within our control. And if you wanna be a part of that vision for what we think a privacy community should look like, you should just join our forum because that's what it is. If you wanna to try to battle YouTube and leave your comments on YouTube, Go ahead and try. The last thing I wanna mention is our forum is run for free for all of you and it costs money for us to host and we just cannot be doing projects like this without our amazing supporters on patreon.com slash techlore. Oh my gosh, all of you patrons are so awesome. Our way of kind of giving back is you get a special badge and you gain access to patron exclusive topics and channels within our forum community to clearly show and tell people that you're the people helping run these free communities for everyone else. So if you wanna support initiatives like these and prove to other people that we can have independent platforms that aren't dependent on big tech companies, I know it's ironic, but we don't only support Patreon, we have other support methods, but you can join our Patreon and support us via other methods to show the world that this is possible and other people can stand up and move people to their own controlled platforms as well. And I want to deeply, deeply thank all of our current patrons who are enabling us to deal with these problems on YouTube. Sure, we're not fixing the whole problem for every YouTuber, but at least we have our own way of dealing with it for our members who care about what we're doing. So that's it for this video. YouTube, please just give us more transparency. And until then, we still have our own communities and those will always exist in light of whatever's happening in all of these crappy centralized entities. So see you all next time on Tech Lore and good luck leaving your comments down below.